What's going on, people? Man, TP's man, back in the snow and ice. Three out of my last four loads have been canceled. And I've been in the south, man. Look here. I'm trying to tell a lot of dudes if if you're not going up, oh, hold on. Hold on. Let me, let me say this right. When it's snow and ice and winter time, if it's not a blizzard, it's better to run up north than to run down south when they get these small little ice storms. Because an ice storm down south can shut the whole city down. Up north, they prepare for this. So just keep this in mind. You know, a lot of people don't want to go up north. You don't want to you think about all the snow up north. Yeah, they got more snow up north, but they got machines that can handle the snow well. What I mean by that is you got the snow plows that's dropping salt, doing two things at one time, and you got citizens that's on a contract that jump on those small back roads. So you got the whole city working to try to get the um, streets clean, and then most of the time they start two hours before, or sometimes six hours before the storm hits, and, um, and they do a lot of work at night. So if you just shut down up north, most time throughout the night, they'll clear up everything. So 8, 10 o'clock in the morning, you can take off. Down south, you might be stuck on the side of the road for a day or two. Um, and like I, I seen like, I don't know how many trucks I seen wrecked this week. One, it was a 16 truck pile up. One owner operator towed out his whole truck. I seen one guy go in the ditch, slipped in the ditch and went in like in a whole bunch of water. So he might have engine damage. Uh, Another guy looked like the transformer smacked his truck. Half his truck was was beat in. The engine was showing. The hood was gone. I mean, the whole passenger seat was smushed in, but the driver's seat was good. So I hope he survived, but I don't. I don't think so because the truck was still sitting there like a, a day or so after. Most time they got to do an investigation. Uh, other thing I want to tell y'all for the snow and ice, some stuff you need to have. One, you need to stop and get you a bag of salt. At a, some grocery stores have it, but uh, Lowe's Home Depot up north, most time they always have a big pallet out front. So grab you one bag of salt and put it, I got a little box on the side of my truck, but some people have their generators in, I can put a bag of uh, salt inside of that. That will come in handy. I did a video about that a long time ago. One of my first videos I did, just showing people how that, that uh, salt can help you get out of a bad situation. If you don't have any salt and you had to call a tow truck to come pull you out, that could be $500 for them to call, pull you eight feet. Some people be leaning on you and they'll charge you 250, but a lot of people charge you 500 to pull you eight feet. Um, so that salt could save your day. Um, if it's real bad, man, just shut down. Just shut down, don't, don't try to drive in the snow. Yeah. Especially when it's, I don't care where you at. If it's bad, shut down. If the if the, if the, the authorities are saying don't drive and this is an emergency, don't drive, bro. I don't care how hot that load is, you won't get in trouble for it because it's a state of emergency. You can always play that card and they can't penalize you. I mean, you might miss some money, but I'd rather miss some money than to miss miss out on, on life trying to. Uh, fight the elements uh all right you need your salt you need a, a big hammer a heavy hammer i want to show y'all my hammer i had all that stuff to show y'all but i'm in the shop right now and getting some stuff done in my trailer so i can't go get all the stuff out of my truck but you need to have a heavy hammer the reason why you need to have a heavy ha hammer sometimes the grease goes down into your fifth wheel and it freezes up like the, the snow and ice and all that stuff get in there and it freezes it up it's a pin on the opposite side that you pull the lever on. It's a pin on the opposite side that you can hit. And it'll knock all that gushy dirt and ice and stuff that's in there. It'll knock it out. And then let your trailer, um, well, your, your fifth wheel handle release. I got stuck just the other day with this. And I went to Schneider, do hit it, boom, boom, boom. I was, I was trying to get unhooked for like an hour. I had a, um, shoot, about an hour and a half. I had a 
some pliers, some long pliers I was trying to hit it with, but they weren't heavy enough. Dude came out with a mallet and hit it like three times. It unhooked. So I went and got me a bigger hammer um, from, I think I got that from Home Depot. And it was like a, a hammer design, especially to get nails out of um, surfaces. So you need that sometimes. So I got me a better nail hammer and it's heavy and it's kind of long. So if I need to hit that uh, pin, I can. And the other thing, when I was up under that trailer, man, it was so much ice caked up under there. And it was hard to get up under there with a little small hammer. That's why I couldn't really get a good hit on it with those pliers. So you might want to get you a big heavy hammer where you can hit it. And uh, you need your spikes on your shoes when you go to these places. You got a lot of ice. I mean, I know everybody feel like they got it. Uh, I, I, ain't, I won't fall on ice, but I've seen a lot of people bust they they mouth and nose on ice when I went to App State. Uh, a lot of people fall on black ice, so that's a good thing to have your um, your cleats and gloves. I got some gloves from TA. I got it in the, like the service department. They got some thick gloves to, with the neon green back, so it, it's good. It's a reflector, and they thicker than the normal gloves. Like my the, my normal leather gloves that I wear that I, that I had for over a year plus now. When it started getting cold, man, my hands was freezing in those gloves when I was outside trying to fill up. Now with these thicker gloves that I have, um, I mean it's just like it's a, a normal day outside. I don't even feel the effect on my fingers. When I'm outside getting your fuel and like when you start rushing trying to get fuel you can fall and bust your ass so having gloves that's it's some simple but when your fingers start hurting you start trying to rush and run my, I know a dude that ran I did it one time too ran around the truck now you got to bend that corner when you come around the truck I slipped on diesel one time I know a dude that slipped on ice one time so when your hands hurting and you trying to hurry up, you you gonna start moving a little faster, and that little bit faster moving <laughs> might cause you to bust your ass. So just make sure, man. And if something else happened, like when I was out there with my trailer trying to get it unhooked, I was out there for an hour and a half. I was able to be out there for for so long because I had some better gloves. If I had a little thin gloves, I would have gave up from the first like five, ten minutes. I was like, fuck this shit, dang. So, you need to salt gloves. You need a hammer in case your trailer won't un unhook if it get frozen. Um, the oil and stuff get frozen. And the icing and stuff get in there and get fr and freeze it up. And your cleats. You need cleats. And I, I got this, this thing I want to show y'all. This Ah oh, man, it's like a fleece something I got. And I can't even think, I can't never think of the store that I got it from. Some store that starts with an H is a sporting store. Uh, I want to say, nah, I'm not even going to say it because I'm going to mess it up. I'm thinking of another name. But it's a big store. And they had them on sale for like $20. Man, they double insulated and they fit tight to your body, kind of like a a seal suit or a swimming suit so it helps you um stay insulated but you don't have that big coat getting all in your way and you're getting fuel and stuff that comes in handy but uh that's all i got people i'm trying to help y'all stay safe make money remember you might make more money up north than down south when it's cold out because they know how to handle the, the weather better um last thing i got another guy to come on this week so it's two dudes right now. They doing good. Well, the first dude, he 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 in a little in a little hole right now. He he left his ID. He left his ID. So yeah, remember when y'all come over here, man. Slow down, slow down, and, and try to pay attention. I know there's a lot of stuff going through your head, and uh, it cost him almost his first week almost. Um, and uh, my other dude, he he doing good too. He booked a load, trying to go home. And he kind of got a little confused with the, the radius, but he was he was focused more on trying to get home so he can just get his reset and everything. So we're going to chop that up to learning the low board and just trying to go home. He could have made like two grand going to the house. He ended up taking a low for 13. 
but it got him home. So he got to get all his clothes and everything. And, you know what I'm saying? Get to show his old lady the truck and let everybody see you happy and shit, jumping up and down. I know he did all that, but uh, that's what it is, people. I got two people rocking right now. We're going to see how they do. Um, both of them seem like they're hustlers, though. Uh, I got a good phone call from, from my first guy today. He, he made me smile. He was telling me his mindset, what he had to do to get get back up because he, he missed last week. So I was like, oh, yeah, yo, well, both of these dudes, they're going to make it. From how they talking right now, they're going to make it. But uh, that's what it is. Y'all let me know uh, what y'all got going on. Stay safe out there.